Hi, everybody with you, my Young Living group. Thank you for joining me today. Today, I want to talk to you about vitamin D and why it's so important, especially through the winter months. So um, it's estimated that about 70% of the people in this country anyway are deficient on vitamin D. And vitamin D is crucial for a lot of different things. Um, I'll just go over a few of them because there are so many and you can do your own research into this. But vitamin D, low levels, I should say, of vitamin D can lead to osteomalacia, which is softening of the bones and osteoporosis, which is bone loss. It can lead to any chronic illness because vitamin D is very important for the immune system function. So things as serious of can as cancers, they can link low levels of vitamin D to different types of cancers. Even mental conditions like depression and anxiety could be low levels of vitamin D. And if you've ever experienced any muscle weakness or cramping, vitamin D um, might be something that will help that. So the main source we get our great vitamin D from is from the sunshine. And uh, that is the purest, most natural way to get it. And that's all, you know, the way we were created. We we're created to get it from the sunshine because it's metabolized, or I should say assimilated in the body from sunshine and uh, things like cholesterol. So in the winter months, especially when we start late fall, all through the winter and even into early or mid spring, um, we're just not getting outside because of the weather, at least in the Midwest, because I live in an area where we have some pretty brutal winters <laughs> and uh, it's always not feasible to be outside. The other thing is there are a lot of gray, dismal days in the winter time, and then we're just not getting the sunshine period. And then we're not eating as well in the winter time. Um, we tend to, you know, like comfort food and uh, all the holidays. So factor that in with a low level of vitamin D and it's no wonder we're all sick in the winter time. So anyway, I wanna to talk to you today about um, vitamin D from Young Living. This is called Super Vitamin D. It's a fairly new product. It was just released, I think, a couple of years ago. And I'm so glad they have this product because I was always searching for what can I use from Young Living that's gonna get me vitamin D. And there were some supplements that had it in, but really couldn't tell how much was in there. So right off of the description of Super Vitamin D, I'm just gonna read to you what it helps with. Okay, it is key to a healthy respiratory tract and it supports all of the immune cells in the respiratory system. So read between the lines if you want, think of supporting the respiratory tract. And I just mentioned the immune system, vitamin D is crucial for the immune system. Um, and then lemon balm that is in this, I haven't gone through all the ingredients yet, I will in here in a little bit, but there's lemon balm extract in here and Melissa essential oil with the vitamin D, this helps support the hormones. And when we support our hormones, that can lead to mood balance, which is really fun. Yeah, especially in the wintertime when we get a little bit crabby and uh, we're a little depressed, seasonal depression. Think about vitamin D. Vitamins or super vitamin D also works to balance calcium levels. And this is really important because a lot of people think, well, if I just take high doses of calcium, I won't get osteoporosis or bone loss. Well, that's not true because if you're only taking calcium and you're not using that in conjunction with vitamin D supplementation, your body's not going to absorb the calcium that it needs. So it's very important. And then the other day I went over a couple of days ago, I guess I went over the benefits of the super C young living super C. So if we're using super C vitamin D and calcium together, yes, you will have superb bone health. Okay provided you don't have any other condition that prevents your body from utilizing those nutrients. Okay, so let's go over the ingredient list. That was off the website. And even on the label, it says help support bone growth, healthy muscle, immune and nervous system function. Perfect, right? All right, so I mentioned the um, lemon balm and the Melissa lemon balm extracts. So lemon balm is the common name for Melissa. And for those of you who are familiar with Melissa essential oil and know its cost and all of its benefits, 
you'll be turning cartwheels and doing handstands and jumping jacks when you find out Melissa is in this product and you're actually getting this in your body, okay? Also, it has the D3 lichen um, extract, which D vitamin D3 from lichen, L-I-C-H-E-N. Lichen is kind of a combination between a, a fungus and um, algae. So it's kind of in the plant world, kind of not. But um, the vitamin D that comes from the lichen is really superb and it has a strong ability to be taken up into the body. So that's what we call a bioavailability. And then there's also some lime essential oil in here and lime is superb for, mm, let's put it this way, has high levels of D-limonene and D-limonene is a strong antioxidant. So if you go to the big box store and you just buy the synthetic vitamin D off the shelf, you're not getting a, a product that's gonna do you much good. So when I go, went over all these ingredients in here, this just enhances the efficacy of the vitamin D. And uh, your body is gonna go, whoa, I love these things together. They all work as a team. Yeah, voila. So how much of this, how much vitamin D do we really need? I've heard a lot of people say, well, you know, I'm, I'm kind of scared to take high doses of vitamin D because I've heard I can build up a toxicity. Well, that's true to a point. If you're taking something like 60,000 units, international units of vitamin D, when it's recommended to only have 600 international units, that's a hundred times more than what your body needs. And sure, if you use it at those high dosages, for months or even years, yes, you can build up a pretty serious toxicity. But for the most part, at least in the articles that I've just recently read that uh, vitamin D toxicity is kind of overrated. And they're saying that people take up to 10,000 units a day are doing fine. So that brings me to another point, Try to explain the difference between international units and micrograms and milligrams is very difficult because when I looked up the definition of international units, it just basically said, it's not a defined amount. It's not a specific amount. It is estimated what is in that product at that time. Yeah, so very gray, very gray zoned. But Young Living put this in milligrams and microgram dosages, which is really cool. So if you turn the bottle to the back and it says supplement facts, at the top of the right hand part of the label, it says percentage and a capital D, a capital V. So I'm like, what is DV? I had to look that up. It's daily value, percentage day, daily value. So what is in here is 250% of what your daily recommended allowance is supposed to be. So if you're looking to really supplement and get a good amount of vitamin D in here, look at that. You have two and a half times what you what was really recommended. Okay. And um, then it breaks it even down further into vitamin D, there are 50 micrograms, which to me didn't sound like a lot. But then when I look at the 250%, I'm like, wow, that is really a lot. And you have to remember that you may not need as much of the actual just single vitamin D component when you have all these other team workers here that are helping the body utilize it better, okay? All right. So how do you use these? And these are pretty, they're chewable tablets. I love the smell, it smells citrusy. But this is the size of the tablet, very tiny. And what you do is you put one under your tongue, let it sit there, let it soften, and then chew it up and swallow it. And it should be taken with food for you know the better uptake of it. So in a nutshell, that's what the vitamin D supplement for Man Living does please don't go to the big box store and buy the crap out of, off the shelf because like I said, it is synthetic and the body cannot recognize synthetic things. This is why um, even if you're doing like a vitamin C, a synthetic vitamin C, and I went over this in my talk a couple of days ago, you're just not going to get the uptake and you're not going to get the volume of the product that you think you're getting in your body. It's just going right back out. So anyway, Thank you for listening and I'll continue this series. I hope to have another short video done this weekend on another product. I'm not gonna, I haven't decided which one I wanna do next yet because there's so many good ones. But anyway, have a great weekend. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you soon.